Hi guys, and this is how to beat the time factory. Hi guys, and today this is how to beat the time factory solo with no people. So what you need is the clock spider, the minigun cameraman, or any unit that has a 0.5 cooldown does over 100 damage, has a big enough a range over 10, and has a, has a good amount of DPS, and costs under 200. So any unit that's a good starting unit. Plunger is actually not a good starting unit. That may sound controversial, but this is actually better than Plunger. Like it, a 0.5 cooldown unit is better than Plunger. Yeah, and also Clock Spider. This might be the best unit in the game. It might even be better than the upgraded Titan Clock Man, but I don't think so because this is absolutely overpowered. You might think only 24,000 DPS, but the wanes on this thing is insane. The walk wanes in 65, and it's AOE movable. This is insane, and the walks, it's just insane. So, fi yeah, 55 plus 65, that's like 100. Let me do the math. So, 10 and then 10, 120 wings, I think. That's insane. Insanity. And then this one's optional, Santa TV Man. I'll do the tutorial with Santa TV Man, but if you don't need Scent, if you don't need, don't have Santa TV Man, I'll do that. After the Sun TV man tutorial, I'll do one without it. It's just way harder with, with, with without this. Yes. Yeah, so wait one second. I have to do. And okay. So now let's go into the time factory. This is the Santa TV man tutorial. If you have Santa TV man, you also need clock spider and minigun and a good starting unit so go here place the starting unit right here and turn on the skip on now this it might seem that i am absolutely bad that i'm stupid because i'm turning auto skip on but you will see how good this is like one time i got to the final wave 50 and i died because the boss had 200,000 health left that's not a joke and i'm not lying so you need to make two minigun counters after you've done that just save it for a clock spider. Don't spawn any Santa TV mines yet. Because this is the way. Yeah, I just got this, so I'm not really good at making tutorials. But this, I, I made a bunch of, I played the game match and got s close wins. I got 150 o'clock so many times. I never got 250 though. Okay, so now these minigun camelons will fix everything and if a toilet somehow gets past your two minigun count moments like what absolutely just happened this is what you have to do so in wave four it's probably gonna happen so make another count moment and if they keep getting past make more camel moments more and more and more so now basically you're in a very bad position but don't worry spawn a clock spider if it's glitched like this just wait for it on glitch then, after you've gone in the clock spider, sell every single thing you have. Yes, do that. Now, it's time to spawn your Santa TV mans. So now that you've spawned uh, all the Santa TV mans, you've spawned three. Now you have a clock spider, and clock spider is overpowered, so right now you're good. So just upgrade your Santa TV mans. Nah. Okay, keep upgrading them. And oh my god, this is all power. Keep upgrading them till it gets to 300. And see, all of them are on 300 because that'll give a lot of monies. And as you see, the boss toilets will die from the clock spider. The clock spider is just too good. So now that you've gotten this, now you have level. Now you have all these sand TV ones. Keep them on level three. Spawn more clock spiders wherever you want. Just spawn clock spiders. 
that's basically the most important part. So now keep upgrading your Santa TV mans and place even more clock spiders. So place a bunch of them. And this is, so you should have a bunch of clock spiders and kill the parasite toilet. So now upgrade your Santa TV mans to level four. And keep them on level four. I actually haven't ever done this strategy, so I, this is me just making a tutorial from doing my other ones w without the Santa TV ones. I don't know, I just hope what I'm doing is professional. Okay, so now all the Santa TV ones are level four. Now it's time to really go spots. Clock spider, spawn even more. Now kill the mutant type. Now I have to spawn some here. If you spawn some here, you will, be thankful for doing it in the soon. So now spawn like a few here. Like four is good. Four is good. Spawn four here. Now keep. Actually, don't upgrade them yet. Spawn some more in here. Oh my god. Do not let cat toilets get past. Also, don't let glitch toilets get past. Make sure no assassin toilets, cat toilets, or good toilets ever get past. If they get past, bad things will happen. Okay, now that you've gotten too many tubes, instead of actually buying upgrades, buy the Santa TV man. Once you got max three Santa TV mans, save up and upgrade everything. So winning we should be able to kill the mutant toilet 2.0 right now and yes we killed it so now keep upgrading these guys keep them on level six for now get them to level six you should be on wave 15 if you actually turn auto skip on if you did not turn auto skip on leave the mats and do it again because you forgot the most important instead and now the TV man should be all sleeping. So now there is a bunch of things. And did you know that the, the, the clock spiders actually cannot get stuck? That is how overpowered the clock spiders are. Sweet Santa TV mans. So get a bunch of money. You need, save up for 9,000 money so you can upgrade all of them at once. Keep killing these vacuum toilets. And boom. Now, you should have 9,000 on wave 18, so just upgrade all of these. Now they should be standing up again on level seven. As you can see. Now, you're gonna make a lot of money. Oh yeah, also I have absolutely no idea. Why the spider toilet with one toy has 177,000 health and 500. That makes absolutely no sense. Why does he have that much health? I have no idea. It, it just doesn't make sense. It looks like a normal spider toilet, but if it's surviving a lot, you know what it is. So keep saving up for the Santa TV mans. And this helicopter parasite toilet might get past, but this is what you should be grateful for putting these clocks down because they save your life when things get past. Now, here. Here is not good. What the? What the? What the heck? What the? Bro, what the heck just happened? Evil wave? What just happened? Bro, all the admins told What the? What was that? What the heck was the evil wave? Bro, I don't even know what that is. Bro, is that like a 1% chance or something? Bro, what was that? Okay guys, we're gonna ignore that because I have absolutely no idea what that is. So now after you've upgraded all your sentiments level eight, following max now, keep upgrading now upgrade your clock spiders just find one and upgrade them find the 1000 bro i don't even know what that wave was there was like a teacher toilet and a student toilet what was that 
Now I should be giving, getting like a billion money from the Santa TV lens. So, they're really good. Oh, I, I don't even know what that evil wave was. Okay, guys, j just ignore that evil wave. It never happened. Oh, what was that? But yeah, guys, keep uh, upgrading Flock Spettos. Upgrade all of these to level 2. And upgrade a lot of these to level 2. Level 2. Some of them upgrade to level 3. Just keep clicking on the pile till you find a level 1. If you don't find any level 1s, you probably turned everything into level 2. So, just upgrade all the level 2s. This is basically the part where you're very good. So, now all your Santa TV mans are making so much money. Your clock spiders are destroying. And you have what? And you, you're good. So, what you have to do is just upgrade your clock spiders. That's basically all you have to do. And if you do this, nothing should have gone into your clock based portal. Okay? Because, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, make sure no boss toilets get into your clock based portal. Just make sure they don't, because they do an absurd amount of damage. And the glitch toilet just one shots it. So if a glitch toilet gets into your portal, say goodbye. Whoa. This is the reason why Fox Spider is the best unit in the game. Now I should have a little bit of max levels clock spiders. Now I'll go back to clock spider level twos and upgrade them even more. So now on wave 28, you see, yeah. Deal, deal, deal. Oh yeah, also, I think the evil wave might have messed you up and gotten you ahead of me. So go, go. if you see the evil wave, just skip pa past it because the evil wave did not. Okay, for now, we have a bunch of clock spinners. So go over here and upgrade all of these to level three, because the light now to level two. Did I say upgrade them to level two before? I think I did. But up the upgrade them to level three, not level two. So, now this, on wave 30, a small magnet scientist toilet will spawn as you can see right here, but your clock spider should destroy it if you did my things quickly. So now you have a bunch of level three clock spiders over here. So this is really good because, yes, this clock spider, what? Oh yeah, this is the first clock spider we spawned, I think. No, it was a different one, but just max clock spiders out. After you've gotten a all your clock spiders maxed out for sure all of these maxed out and a, a lot of these maxed out then you can sell your santa tv mans but not yet all your clock spiders have to be maxed out okay so for these these are the most important clock spiders because they're really important force to me well clock spider is overpowered so, oh yeah, those are the cat toilets I was talking about that you have to not let go, go, get into your base. But clock spiders destroy them, so don't worry. Oh yeah, assassin toilets are weak, but they do 1,000 damage. For some reason. They're like the first fast toilets. And they do, one, no, they do 100 damage. Okay guys, keep upgrading your clock spiders. Some water. Okay. Now all of these clock spiders should be level 4 when I'm getting this drink of my water. The, to oh, the toxic mutant toilet will spawn as you saw back there. But you should kill it. And this dual pot laser toilet too. You should kill it. So yeah, make sure you kill those. And 
quick. Another drink of water. Oh yeah, these are the glitch toilets. Do not l let them get past. They won some. So yeah. Oh yeah, these will spawn. Don't worry. They look big, but they get destroyed. Oh my god, I just realized I wasn't upgrading my clocks. That's a big mistake. Make sure you're upgrading your clock mats. Okay, 7,000. Oh yeah, these uh, infected tiny speaker mats will spawn, but they're easy to kill. Cool, why is one of them level 2? How? Okay, now all, almost all of my clock spiders upgraded to do that. Now for the last three clock spiders that end game once you delete your Santa TV mats and it's on like wave 40. Place them here. You have to place them here. This is, you will not regret it if you place them here in the future. And now you should have like a billion clock spiders here that are very upgraded. And basically all your clocks better to be upgraded, so fully. Um, some of them might be level 2 or level 3, but that's okay, because you're gonna be selling these when the boss comes. I, like, there's no way, and see, these are helping. Yeah, that's why you place these, because the boss is overpowered. And that was just the nightmare mode boss, we just killed it. So, yeah, you can definitely solo nightmare mode with the strategy too. You, like, you don't even need to use anything else but the clock one for nightmare. Well, what's this? Uh, oh, I thought those glitches. Yeah, this one's, these are sick. Okay, this is the, oh yeah, this is the nightmare mode boss. But the clock boss is way stronger. And a bunch of these will also spawn in the clock boss, so yeah. Four million health. And we just killed it with our clock spiders. This is why clock spiders are overpowered. Okay. These might seem really big and strong, but that's not 14 million health, that's 1 million health. And mutant assassin toilet. They're dead. Oh yeah, another fun fact about clock spiders. I think I already told you this. Yeah, they can be stunned. I already told you this somewhere in the video. I think. Maybe. But wave 46. A bunch of man toilets, scientist toilets are gonna spawn. Don't worry, you can kill them. Yeah, do not worry. These two will die. Trust me, they will die. They won't survive. Because you might think you're absolutely about to get destroyed by them. You're not. Chill. I don't think these have been seen, but I, I don't know why the scientist toilet have more health than helmet boss toilet 4.0. What the heck is that? And it's moving bow. Is it actually skibbity dobbing? Okay, skibbity dop dop dop. Yes, yes. Now this is the magnet toilet. Magnet scientist toilet 3.0. Another two, but you killed the other two. So, don't be worried. And also these toilet spider toilets. Now they survive as long as the normal toilets. As like before. Okay, for wave 49, you're about to find the final boss. You have to kill these two magnet scientist toilet 3.0s. If you do not, bad things will happen. So turn the auto skip off on wave 49. I'm just gonna tell you that it's not needed, but it will help you a lot on wave 49. So just don't, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is why you should not auto skip wave 49. Four glitch toilets. That are many glitch toilets will spawn. That's a lot of glitch toilets. This is the only one wave you should not auto skip. The reason why is because it spawns this toilet. This toilet will take you very long to defeat. So, what you have to do is just kill it. Then wave 50 will be two times easier. And you'll probably win because I think the reason why on wave 50 the last time I didn't win was because I auto skipped wave 49 and my clocks spiders were fighting this till it got to here. So I could have killed the clock toilet if it. Yeah. So now I have to kill this DJ toilet because he's the final boss of wave 49. And 
then I'll be the final boss of the whole clock mode. Right now it's taken 20 minutes. This would take like 20 minutes to complete and now. Now it's the final boss. You're on wave 50. You have almost all of your clock guys ready. You have like a billion coins. Basically all of them are level max. So this is what it's gonna look like. A bunch of small magnet scientist toilets. And this is gonna be a really bad part. A lot of magnet scientist toilet food for those. And then this monstrosity of a magnet titan toilet. This is why you don't place the elite units. It will destroy every single unit you have. So this is why I use block spiders to defeat it. Basically these magnet scientist toilet 3.0 will make it really hard to kill the magnet titan toilet because they will block like you can only do a small amount of damage to this one now after you kill this it's only this one left yeah every t uh every one this is why i should save up like fifty thousand. every single one of the clock spiders keep these clock spiders even though they go away they're still worth it to keep because they're so now, every cock spider that goes over here, sell it. So now it's going back here. Now they're going back here. So if they go back here, sell them. Because they won't be used for anything else. Now you should only have the ones that are here, all ones that are really close. So now, make more. Make more clock spiders. Make more and more and more. This is what you need. Now you should be able to kill this man with time toilet if you just spam it. And boom! You have officially won the clock event. That is my tutorial on how to win it. Lobby. If you want a tutorial without the Santa TV man, like and subscribe and get this video to, uh, I, I don't, I don't care how many likes you get, I, a few likes or something, but this is a day because this is under, well I got, this is over 500 for me, but if you find like a cheap Santa TV man, it can be under 500, or you could use a different phone method. But the next one's under 450. This one's under like 750. Yeah, it's under 750 to gems to beat Time Factory. If you find if you find a really cheap Santa TV man, I'll just use a farm unit in general. It'll take be like 500 gems alone. So the most important thing is the minigun catwoman and the clock spiders. Yeah. So I hope you guys like this tutorial on how to beat Time Factory and Toilet Tower Defense because it's really hard. But I can make a Nightmare tutorial and a what was and a Time Factory tutorial with no Santa Team Moon. Also, I don't know what that evil wave was because it wasn't on Class World. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.